Uh, we are now in step two in our um, three-step approach to the flight test. So we are now in the cargo at zero, um, doing the verification on an integration level um, to, to see um, whether what we have simulated is, is really working. Cargo Zero is our um, is a test mean um, to verify um, all systems in the A400M. It's basically an A400M fuselage with uh, the systems integrated that you need, uh, where we do all the drop tests um, in order to verify uh, everything before we go fly. There is a lot of airflow when the ramp is open, the cargo door is open behind the aircraft that is turbulent and erratic. And um, what we want to ensure is a safe separation of the, of the DT25 through that turbulent air so that we give it a kick by the dispatch uh, launch mechanism by compressed air so that it's smoothly and fastly transitioned through that turbulent air into the smooth air and can fly. With this test we want to validate the calculations and the simulations we did in the last weeks. Yeah, what we can see today is the first time we launch a, a, a remote carrier from the aircraft. Our job was to help to modify the drone because the launch direction is now backwards instead of forward. And for that reason, some modifications on the drone were necessary. And additionally, not on this test uh, specimen, but on the real flying drone, there will be also some additional installations like flight test equipment and changes to the system. And those are our jobs to perform. We have done the simulation and today we want to see if um, for the first um, milliseconds um, the launch of the DT25 in reality fits with the numerical simulations we have performed. We thought let's take this ground station, put it in the aircraft and use it not as a ground station but as a flight station uh, for an operator uh, to uh, to operate uh, the drone uh, after being launched from the aircraft and, and then also to operate uh, multiple other drones in the future. It's just incredible to see what we've designed is now really working. So. Um, We've launched the remote carrier from, from a real um, F100M test rig and we now know that it's working. The next step will actually be the ground test on a real aircraft, final verification before we go flying. <laughs>